Good evening, good evening, guys. Hi, Yuri. Andrea, good evening. Uh, Gabby, hello. Arnoldo, how are you doing? Uh, guys, can you hear me? Hi, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Are you good? Are you okay? Are you yes, doing fine? Sir. Okay, perfect. Uh, guys, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you. ¿Me escuchan doble o something? No. No. Okay. So, good. <laughs> I thought that uh, you would listen to me like with a double voice or something. Okay. Uh, Helen, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you, guys. How are you doing, people? Is everything okay? Are you having a good day? Are you doing fine? How is your Tuesday? For some reason, I feel today is, I don't know, maybe Monday or a different day. Are you good? How was your day, Andrea? A little bit busy and I'm tired. You're tired, okay. Yes. Did you have a difficult day today? Yes, a hard work day. Oh, okay. So good, because it means that everything went super fast. So the time goes fast. Okay, I think I heard Christian. Hey, Christian, good evening. Great to have you as well. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm good evening. fine, thank you. Okay, good to hear that. Uh, Helen, are you working? I guess she's working. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for joining. Hello. How are you? Okay. Are you still working? Are you still at work? Yes. Um, I have a I have, um, noise, nothing. Allergy. Aller ah, allergies. Uh huh. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. And I hope you feel better. Okay. Okay, well, guys. Um, so, thanks a lot for joining. Vamos a iniciar today las últimas sesiones que nos hacen falta, people. So, we are missing five uh, sessions, right? And we'll be done by Monday. So, uh, la última unidad que tenemos se trata un poquito de loyalty. We're going to be talking a little bit about loyalty in the sense of companies' loyalty. But, of course, we always include the speaking uh, thingy, right? And so, let's get started. Um, I have a topic, guys, so we can listen to your opinion. We can listen to what you think about it. And today, the topic is dreams. Uh, call it dreams, call it nightmares, call it whatever you want. <laughs> but guys, first of all, do you dream often? Do you normally have this kind of, I don't know, recurring dreams? I remember some days ago, uh, I don't remember if that was Imelda or Angelica, but they mentioned, for example, si sueñan con una snake, if you have dreams with a snake, uh, you're going to be victim of gossip, etc. So what do you think about this? Do you dream often? What kind of dreams do you usually dream? Uh, which dream do you still remember? And do you think about dreams a lot the following day? Guys, I want to listen to your experiences. What do you think about it? People, do you normally dream? Uh, uh, sometimes. Mm -hmm. Nice dream? Cool dreams? Mm -hmm. Or what kind of dreams? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, weird. <laughs> weird dreams. Uh, what kind of Hello? weird dreams? Yes, yes, yes. What kind of weird dreams? Mm -hmm. um, I don't uh, I don't remember um, uh, dream uh, Christian, I think you're breaking a little bit. 
¿Usted no se escucha? ¿Can you listen to us? Uh, yes, I, I listen. To ¿Y me you. escucha quebrada? ¿Do you listen to me like broken? No. No. Es que de repente se me quiebra eh, su voz, but no sé si es mi internet. Guys, me están escuchando mm. quebrada. Am I breaking? Teacher, my internet is not working lately. Mm, I'm sorry to hear that. Ok, bueno, mantengamos la camarita apagada in the meantime y probablemente eso ayude un poquito. So, okay. nos cantaba sus dreams. <laughs> so, you normally have weird dreams. Yes, uh, for example, uh, I dream with a friend uh, doing something, uh, something uh, weird. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So you dream about remember. your friends. Uh, no, you don't uh, remember. Okay. It is common, right, that we normally forget them. Guys, uh, do you have any dream to share with us? Do you often dream? Do you remember them? Hi, Imelda. Good evening. So um, what kind of dream was the last you remember? Um, Arnoldo, are you with us? Andre, Helen. What can you tell us, guys? Or people, do you believe in, I don't know how to call it, do you believe in these superstitions um, that if you have a dream about this, this is going to happen? Um, do, you, do you know okay. any superstition? Hi, Imelda, good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, well, in my case, I am not a... Uh, Deliver, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> but uh, sometimes I am I'm not. Uh, I don't know if it's a una casualidad, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, a coincidence. A coincidence. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know if, if if a coincidence, but but for example, my sister, um, she said that. Uh, times or three times i don't remember mm -hmm. uh, she dreamed with a wedding uh, mm -hmm. before somebody died and that is a um a, una creencia. that is a belief right mm -hmm. yes that or is a superstition a... i don't know guys you tell us maybe it's something like that like a superstition that that's if a you, belief uh -huh. if you dreamt uh, with a wedding that it means uh, somebody close to you is gonna die. Okay, so weddings means death. Um, yes. and what about rivers? Have you heard about rivers? Are you familiar with any belief about dreaming with rivers or water or something else? No, about water, I don't know. Okay. Um, guys, have you heard, for example, uh, about this belief that if you dream that your teeth are falling off, like something is going to happen? Have you heard about it? Uh, no, teacher never. <gasps> guys, <laughs> so you need to ask your grandparents. <laughs> I, I, I have heard that, but I don't remember the meaning. Supposedly, it is, um, if I'm not mistaken, it is death. Um, but when like all your denture or all your teeth, they fall off. So, or they fall out. So that is more like a death. But, but again, we come to superstitions, right? So guys, uh, well, first, do you remember your dreams? Because I don't remember them. Uh, what about uh, you? I, I Teacher, I remember mm -hmm. my, last, my, my last dream. Uh, uh -huh. I dream with my best friend. Uh, uh -huh. He has uh, the hair long. Okay. Long. Uh, In a dream? Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. So, but does he have long hair? No. 
Oh. Definitely no. <laughs> Did you tell your friend, hey, I was dreaming with you, you know? <laughs> Did you no. tell your friend, no? <laughs> no, no. Okay, because that would have been kind of interesting uh, to uh, listen to his reaction as well, I believe. Give me a second. Someone was having problems with the internet. Tell me, good evening, Angelica. Hello, girls. Uh, Judy, I think Good I had said hello to you. <laughs> okay, so um, Christian remembers uh, his last dream. So he was dreaming with his friend. Guys, what about the rest of you? Do you remember your last dream? I remember my, my last dream. Mm, what uh, happened? What did you dream? I very strange and <laughs> it's, it's aterrador, como se dice, teacher. Fright. I'm going to write it in the chat. That is frightening. 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 Yes, frightening. Mm -hmm. frightening. Okay. You can say frightening or you can say scary. So both are okay. 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 I was uh, read, reading mo my motorcycle and I, mm -hmm. I, I ride fast in, in the street. I crashed oh. uh, behind the, the car. Wow. Yes. That's, what that's happened where, after that? I don't know. I wake up. Oh, were you scared? Yes. I imagine so. Wow, that was a really bad dream. Well, maybe we can even call it a nightmare probably, right? So remember that nightmares are kind of the bad dreams that we have, right? Um, yeah, I would say that was a nightmare. Wow. Okay. But it is interesting that you still remember your dream. Guys, what about the rest? Thank you for sharing, Andrea. Interesting and dangerous and frightening. <laughs> Guys, yes, what about definitely. The rest? Uh -huh. Wow, I have never dreamed with the motorcycle. People, what about you? What do you think? Is it common for you to dream? For me, it's very common. I, I dream all night. And when I wake up, I'm tired to, to dream. So, <laughs> dream. <laughs> so you're tired because you were dreaming, because your mind, yeah. your brain was working. Oh, yes. okay. Okay, got, got and it. And I always remember my dream because... It is uh, really I, I, interesting, huh? Yes, I, I have heard that all people dream, but the difference is that not uh, all people remember, remember. They, <laughs> they dreams, yes. Yes, or guys, I don't know if that has happened to you, that you have recurring dreams. So recurring, for example, you dream today, tomorrow, then following day, the same and the same idea, the same thing. Have you ever had recurring dreams? Uh, sometimes I dream uh, the same, the same ah, thing. Okay. And, and sometimes uh, uh, I dream the second part of the dream. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Wow. Nice. So part of one. <laughs> wow. The part two. Uh -huh. So your dreams have like a link. Mm, wow. Yes. Really interesting. Okay. Okay, well, I hope they are not nightmares. Good evening. Either, either way. Hi, Carlos, how are you? Hello, Hi, Rafa, how are me? Good evening. Hi, how are you doing? I'm having my dinner. Oh, Sorry. enjoy it. No worries. That's totally fine. Enjoy. Uh, guys, great to hear you. Great to have you here. And I don't know if somebody has like another dream or a story you can tell us about dreams. Sorry, teacher, I, I didn't understand the meaning of recurring. Recurring dreams are the dreams um, that are the same, but you dream the same thing more than one time. 
Ah, uh, okay. Maybe like two days, three days, a week, a month. Mm -hmm. Son sueños recurrentes, right? So recurring okay. dreams. Uh -huh. Or ideas that go on and go on. Okay. In, in, in my case, I, I, I have a recurring dream, but oh. it's not um, in the same period, period of time. For example, mm -hmm. I can dream that maybe two months or... later. Yes, yes, but, oh. but I have the same dream uh, since I was maybe 11 years. Wow, what uh, kind of I, dream? What I is dream, it about? I dream with a baby. It, mm -hmm. it can be a different baby, <laughs> even a, a baby that is not my family. Okay. But the baby is really, really small. It's like a... a Um, como una, una bolita, como una bolita de golf <laughs> de ese tamaño. Wow, super, a super tiny baby. Yes, okay. it's, it's a super, super tiny baby. And I, but the, the funny is that the baby is getting smaller uh, oh. along of the dream. Oh. So it gets like normal size and then it's yes. smaller, smaller, smaller. Yes. Ah, okay. <laughs> Miss, alguna vez vio Benjamin Button? <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. I don't like know. that. Uh -huh. I don't know why, but that reminds me of Benjamin. Uh -huh. and that he was old, but he got younger. So, wow. Yes. Wow. That is a, a really strange dream indeed. Okay. It is, isn't it scary? At the end of the dream, always is scary. At the beginning, mm -hmm. not, but at the end, it's scary mm -hmm. because the, the baby is so <laughs> tiny. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. super weird. Yeah. When, when was the last time you had that dream? Maybe last month. Ah, uh, so it is recurring. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Wow, interesting. And strange at the same time. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, I, I, and anybody would think that you have gotten used to it, but I don't think it's the case, right? Okay, okay, good. Well, guys, uh, thanks a lot for participating. You will tell us in a couple of minutes more of your ideas, but let's get started with the things we have for today. Guys, ahora vamos a clarificar. We are going to try to clarify ideas, clarify um what you are saying but in a very polite in a very courteous way so to get us started i have some expressions give me one second i don't know what's wrong okay so uh to get us started um uh, i have a couple of words that we can use to be more specific um especially when a person asks I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, or I don't understand. Mm, I don't get it. What's that? So you can use expressions like, oh, what I mean is, yeah. What I'm trying to say is, what I wanted to say was, or to clarify. So all of them gives me the idea that you are trying uh, to explain, to give more information. Now, what are the questions? Guys, please, quitémonos what, okay? Because normally when we don't understand, es bien común que decimos what, okay? <laughs> But ese what suena pesado, right? Even if I am talking to Rafael and I'm like, oh, what? <laughs> so suena like, I mean, super, super impolite. There are a couple of expressions that we can use. Um, so, si alguna vez, uh, say what? For example, in Los Morenos, right? It is very common that we use say what? So, say what is lo mismo, right? But I still say what and what suena muy impolite, muy fuerte. So, what are some polite ways that we can use? Oh, what are you trying to say? What was that again? Yeah, so what was that? Uh, can you, instead of saying, can you repeat? That normally we say, oh, can you repeat? Can you say that again? So we can use, mm, what are you trying to say? Could you clarify that? What was that again? 
all right? And we ask for more information. We ask for clarification here. So again, these are the questions and these are some possibilities. But also it is important to clarify. So we need to interrupt people, right? So um, some of some other expressions we can use to be super polite are this number one, pardon me, right? Guys, repeat and conmigo, please. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. Pardon me. This is like, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Can you say that again? But pardon me, como perdón, pero no en el sentido de disculparse, right? But just asking, like, uh, pardon me. Like, I didn't get it. So let's go with number two. Let's repeat it. I beg your pardon. I beg your I beg pardon. Your pardon. Mm -hmm. Son super polite. Pardon me. I beg your pardon. So me disculpa. Yeah. Excuse me. And then you know the rest. So excuse me. Could you repeat that, please? Could you say that again? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you properly. I'm sorry. I missed that. This is another one that is very common. I'm sorry. I missed that. I don't get it. All right. Or I'm sorry. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch that, right? So, como, no, no la agarré la idea. I didn't catch it. I didn't catch that. Or I miss that. I don't understand what you mean. I don't understand what you're saying. I don't understand you, yeah? Could you give an example if, I mean, you didn't really like, uh, get it? So, could you give an example? Um, and this is very important too, especialmente cuando hay palabras muy parecidas. Um, Imagine I say, um, I don't know, deer as in love, deer, the animal. So you can ask, uh, did you say deer as the animal or did you say deer as love? So we can also use, did you say to be, to ask for clarification, right? That is very important here. Guys, preguntas con estas expresiones? Do you have an equation with these expressions here? Okay. <laughs> so, vamos a intentar evitar today what and can you repeat? Okay, so try guys, try not to say can you repeat, try not to say what, but usamos cualquiera de estos. I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, or you can say like, what was that again? Uh, what are you trying to say? Could you clarify that? I miss it. I didn't catch it. All right. And that's the, can you repeat, please? So we can expand our vocabulary. Um, we have other expressions that we are going to use as well. And we are going to practice this little conversation. So guys, practicamos un poquito um, some words we have right here. So we have discovered. We have visited. Uh, we have, let me just take a look. Probably this one. And I would say those are the ones. Okay, let me read this conversation, guys, uh, for you. And then we can practice this as we did yesterday. Um, so we have a little conversation between uh, Celia and Lucas. They are talking about product awareness. Uh, it goes like this. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It is delicious. But when I visited their fan page, I saw they only had 300 likes. I wonder why it isn't more popular. It's probably an unknown brand. Simply put, the owners of the brand aren't trying too hard to create brand awareness for their product. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you're right. Everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an ad for this new soda on TV. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their image, images and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you're trying, you're talking about needs to make more people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Guys, let's go ahead and practice a couple of thingies here. 
Wait a second. First of all, eh, veamos el significado de la palabra aware and awareness, right? So we can... Um, Thank you, Kenya. Sí, vi ayer el mensaje. Gracias. Espero que siga mejor, Miss. I hope you, you feel better. I really hope you're better. Okay, uh, guys, aware. Consumers are aware. What is the meaning of aware? Any idea, any recommendation, any thoughts, aware? Que yeah. eh, hay conciencia sobre el producto. Mm, okay, exactly. So being aware, this expression is estar consciente, right? Um, so normally this is the way we use it. I am aware. I am aware. Of. That is the one. So estoy consciente de algo. Oh, I am aware about that. I am aware about the weather. I am aware about the changes I need to make. So that is aware. And we also have the word awareness, right? Que es concientización. So in case you see that, brand awareness, right? Uh, guys, repeat with me, please. Discovered. 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 Visited. Visited. Very nice. Awareness. 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 Aware. Aware. Awareness. Aware. Awareness. Awareness. Mm -hmm. And the last one is aware. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay, guys, one more time. Intentemos practicar la conversation. Try to practice the conversation. And uh, pongámosle mucha atención al sonido de nuestra voz, right? Pay attention to the sound of your voice. And uh, podemos escoger una palabra y siempre subir nuestra voz a little bit. Uh, para que suene diferente. There are a couple of linking sounds que podemos hacer. So, algunos de ellos los vamos a ver this way. Um, an unknown, right? Why? Uh, just take a look. Hay otra. Not, not only that one. Mm. Organize it. Where is organized? Where is that? Al final, teacher. Al final. This one? Recognize. Ah, oh, yes, 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 you're right. Recognize, and we have it, exactly. So recognize it. So the only thing that we do is alargamos un poquito el sonido y lo vibramos a little bit. So recognize it. De una sola vez, right? So, recordemos que esto lo aplicamos siempre que vean consonante vocal. For example here, but I. No, but I, sino but I, right? Uh, for example here, sin a. Uh, I have never seen a nada. I have never seen a nada. So, siempre intentamos hacer cuando vean un ajá. Uh -huh. Siempre que vean consonante vocal, intentamos hacer ese sonido, right? Ese link para eh, sonar un poco más fluido too. No es que lo digamos rápido, solo lo unimos. Okay, guys, um, let's go ahead and practice the conversation. I'll give you five minutes and then we come back. Intentemos hacerlo lo más natural que podamos. But remember, subamos nuestra voz en las palabras eh, que consideren importantes. Vámonos, guys, five minutes.
Okay, so thank you guys for coming back. Um, Rafa, is your camera, are you having issues with your camera? I, I have problem with, with time teacher. Uh, okay, if you feel more comfortable, I puede apagar un momentito. So while it fixes, no worries. Okay. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Okay, guys. So, um, pudieron practicar. Hay alguna palabrita que les está causando eh, dificultades? Is there any like issue with the words? For, for me, maybe awareness. Awareness. Yes. So, le cuesta eh, con awareness como, como utilizarla, the meaning, or just pronunciation? Mm, maybe both. <laughs> yeah, okay, mm. okay. No problem. So, okay. Vamos con pronunciación primero. So, this is awareness. Aware. Aware. Mm -hmm. Ness. Awareness. Yes. Uh, in the second part, um, unknown. <laughs> en la parte donde dice, it's probably. Probably. Unknown. It's probably an unknown. An unknown, okay. That is an unknown, right? So unknown is like something that we don't know. Something that is like... Um, yeah, something that we don't know much about. So unknown. Mm -hmm. Okay, mas guys, what else? Um, in that case, we we join the two words and an uh, unknown. Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. Unknown. An unknown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, an unknown. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, because uh, teacher, that goes yes. with a. Por separada a un nom. Eh, solamente nom. la segunda palabra es. ¿Sí? Ya, yeah, lo que sucede es que la palabra en realidad es non de conocido. Si se recuerdan, Ajá. tenemos non y un non. Uh -huh. uh -huh. so, pero cuando le pongo an a una palabra, la hago negativa. So I make it negative. No siempre, but luego uh -huh. lo van a ver. That is a very common thing. So, for example, non conocido, lo hago negativo con an non. Right? Oh, no. I have happy, for example. ¿Cómo hago I'm lo happy. puesto de happy? I'm happy. Happy. Exactly. No aplica para todos, but most of some words permiten el an para negativos. So the same word, but a negative yeah. feeling, right? Uh, <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Um, I cannot Identify. think of more words. Identify. Oh, yes. Identify. Very good example. So identify and the negative is unidentified. Exactly. I have, for example, authorized. Y lo opuesto sería. Unauthorized. Unidentified. Unauthorized. Well, unauthorized in this case. Mm -hmm. That is the one. So let's have some negatives. Okay, guys, uh, yesterday we were able to listen to a couple of you. Eh, veamos, escuchamos a más personas today. Guys, who wants to volunteer? Only two. <laughs> okay, so let me go. Uh, okay, Andre, perfect. Thank you so much. Eh, Andre, who will you read it with? ¿Con quién quiero leerlo? Ok, I see Rafa. Uh -huh. Ok, perfect, perfect. So Rafa wants to read as well. So, Andre, maybe you can read Celia and Rafa. Maybe you can help us with Lucas. Ok. I just discovered this new brand of cinnamon soda. It's delicious. But when I visited the, their fan page, I saw they only have 300 likes. I wonder why it's more popular. It's probably a known brand. Simply put, the owner or the brand are trying to hard to create brand awareness for the product. Mm -hmm. This is very important when launching a new product. I guess you are right. Everyone, everyone knows about Coca-Cola and Pepsi, but I have never seen an 
ad for this new soda on TV? Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you are talking about needs to make people recognize it to get higher sales and become more competitive. Oh, very nice. Okay, good job, guys. Good, good, good. So now let's take a look at the words that we have here. We have simply put and we have in other words. So if you take a look, esas palabras me ayudan a dar más información too. Like we said before, and but also, si quiero cambiar de tema, look at this. Well, yes, consumers are aware of these brands and their images and names. In other words, the cinnamon soda you're talking about needs to make people recognize it. So in other words, is to give more information, right? But in a different way. Or simply put, that is another way to say, for example. So here we have a couple of words that are going to help us a lot. Um, so we are going to practice a very similar conversation in a couple of minutes, but let's move on with the vocabulary we have for today. Um, some of the expressions we have are recognize. So here we have brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, and unknown brand, right? It says here, brand awareness is the ability of customers to identify your brand by its attributes. The following are some stages of brand awareness. Match the stages of brand awareness to the description. Guys, ¿se recuerdan que teníamos una tarea for today? Okay. <laughs> no. I don't remember. Yes, but you didn't. Okay. No problem. Okay. <laughs> okay. I got it. Okay. So we're going to work a little bit on that too to make it uh, on brand awareness. So let's take a look here. Um, let's try to see or let's try to match the ones that you identify the best. For example, here we have it. Um, from these ones, what do you identify? Brand recall, recognition, top of mind, brand dominance, or unknown brand? The first mm. one, customers don't recognize your oh, brand. No, what brand do you think? Is the number, number five. five. Ah, number five, because it is unknown. Mm -hmm. uh, customers can recall any brand, but yours for a particular product category. This is the fastest. Um, recognition. Number one. Number one, brand recall. Mm -hmm. Re recall, guys. Eh, ya vamos a trabajar esa palabra. Recall means remember, right? So, si alguna vez escuchan, oh, I don't recall that. So, recall es como traer al frente de mi mente y recordarlo. So, remember or recall. Number three, uh, Consumer is able to recall the name of a brand when given a product category. What is that? What do you think? Number four. Brand dominance? Uh, no, number one. Um, number three. Uh, uh, Number three, number four, number two. Uh, for me, number two. Ooh. Recognition. Okay, let's write it down and we check in a moment. The first brand customers can think of for a product category. For example, if I tell you, guys, shoes. ¿Qué es lo primero que se les ocurre? What is the first thing? Hush puppies. Oh. Okay, hush puppies, okay. So, ¿cómo se llama eso? How do you call that? Top of mind. Abdominal. Top of mind. So, that is top of mind. And the, the last one, consumers can correctly identify a particular product just with a visual cue. Uh, a cue is Brand like dominant. a hint. A cue um, is like, um, like a hint. I'm going to write it here. It's like a hint. 
como una uh, una pista, right? Mm -hmm. O como algo visual. Yes, that is the brand dominance. Okay. Very nice, because it says a particular product, right? So no hablamos de cualquiera, sino one specific product, just based on what you see. Okay, guys, so we're talking about brand awareness. Guys, repeat with me, please. Brand recoil. Brand recoil. Brand recoil. Recognition. 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 Top of mind. Top of, of mind. mind. Brand dominance. Brand Brand dominance. Dominance. Unknown. 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 Okay, very good. There we go. Unknown. So now let's practice this vocabulary here. So we have recoil. Remember, recoil is como recordar, pero cuando traemos algo acá, en nuestra mente, you know. So we have recall. We have recognition. Recognition no es reconocer sino reconocimiento. So careful with this, right? Uh, the other word that we have there was unknown. So I'm going to bring this word again. So unknown, right? And uh, I think we can just work on it. Um, mm, okay. And we are going to work on one more word. That is the Q. Ooh, yes, that is the correct spelling. Okay, guys, so here we have four words. Recall, recognition, unknown, and cue. Let me explain briefly y ustedes me ayudan con ejemplos too. Recall, esto es como recordar, pero que algo lo traigo acá a mi mente, right? For example, um, did you do the homework? Pues no me recuerdo, you know? So, no tengo esa memoria. So, I can say, oh, I don't recall. I don't recall the moment I got the homework or the moment I did the homework. Se parece mucho a remember, so no worries. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, um, in Spanish, uh, we say, no me acuerdo. I don't recall that. I me acuerdo. Yes. Acordarse <laughs> en español. Lo que sucede es que remember es como memorias para cosas eh, como nuestras memorias. Recall puede ser como información. You know, it can be kind of information o algunas actividades que hicimos. So, it is very common that you use it um, para actividades. For example, hey, did you close the door? No recuerdo si cerré, pero es porque yo intento hacer el recordatorio, right? So, el recordatorio no viene acá. Entonces, one way to say it is, I don't recall that. Yo no me recuerdo eso. Guys, ¿se recuerdan del presente perfecto? I don't recall that. Ok, so no es que tengo la memoria, sino no tengo acá, no, no lo tengo fresco. Pretty much, esa es la diferencia con remember and recall. Recall es como no tengo esa memoria, no lo tengo fresco. Um, recognize es reconocer, but recognition lo usamos diferente. So, um, because this is a noun, no es un verbo, so I don't use it that way, but it's recognition. Do you get recognition at work? Do you think recognition is important? Um, do you feel value in your company when you get recognition because you did something important? So, um, it's a noun. I know it, right? Something that you don't know. <laughs> Pretty much that's the meaning. And Q. Guys, Q tiene muchos significados. Um, so one of them can be a hint, como una pista, right? But also when you go to a bank y nos toca hacer la cola, a esa cola le llamamos Q. So digamos que sería line, pero line es la palabra adecuada to say it. But we use a Q, right? Um, or para quienes trabajan con llamadas, you know, con correos and all of that, y tienen como eh, en espera, so Q se le llama al total también de correos, de llamadas que están en espera. So that is the one, guys. Okay. Um, I'll give you five minutes. Okay. Please, guys, en el chat, déjenme ejemplos con recall, with recognition, unknown, and Q. So five minutes. Uh, teacher, I yeah, have maybe. a question about recognition. Mm -hmm. um, that is like um, del prestigio, or no? 
Um, el prestigio. Sí se puede usar that way. You can use it that way. For example, my, no sé, my school. My school has gotten a lot of recognition. Es que es como reconocimiento, pero sí tiene mucho que ver con reputación, prestigio. Has gotten a lot of recognition eh, because of the, I don't know, the high scores in the evaluations or in the exams, or in the tests, you know? So yes, yes, of course. Yes, we can use recognition as a sort of um, reputation, yeah? O también puede ser reconocimiento en el sentido like when we are talking about work, y alguien nos dice, oh, good job. That is recognition as well, right? So, okay. but yes, sí lo podemos usar. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Okay, so guys, five minutes, and let me know if you have questions, please. Thank you for your example, Andrea. So I hate to wait in queue to pay the bills. Okay. Okay. I have received recognition for excellent grades. Uh, okay, very good. right? I received my daughter, but nice, nice. Sounds cool.
Okay, so let me just take a look here. Okay, so I don't recall if I shut it. Uh, okay, if I shut down the TV. Um, um, okay, uh, sounds good. Uh, just let me check chat at Christian because I, if I'm not mistaken, chat is regular. Uh, no, 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 it's irregular, but Yes, it is irregular. So nice, nice example. I really like it. Solo le quitamos el ed. So chat no va a cambiar. I recall the village when I said this. Okay, I couldn't recall your email address. Oh, very nice. They gave a recognition for to her for a good job. Yes, my pet recognized me when I get back from traveling. I don't recall if I paid the water bill. Oh, very good example. Exactly. It's like remember. Mm -hmm. I recall that I saw a great series, a uh, great series yesterday, I recall. Um, yes, that will work. Aunque acá sería un poco más de I remember, right? Recall es más como algo um, más espontáneo, let's say. It has been a recognition for, okay. So, Rafa, solamente con el bat. It has been a recognition, eh, quizás sería for for your great career, and best the bad, right? Para que tenga sentido. I mm -hmm. think that is the correct. I don't know, I don't recall if I turn off the TV. Oh, okay, okay, that sounds all right. I mean, chat está bien, so lo que chat no lo cambiamos, because chat, chat, I mean, el verbo no cambia, pero está bien, but it's okay. So that is the one. I recall that I, I don't recall if I locked the door, okay. I recall that I must complete the platform. Very good. <laughs> so I could at the bank for an hour. Wow. I don't know if that is an example, ladies, but it's so bad. I am the last person in the queue. Very good. Mm -hmm. So that is good, good, good. Guys, ¿tienen dificultades con alguna palabra de estas o estamos bien? Are we good? I'm gonna take it as a no. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So, vamos a empezar a trabajar un poquito with clarification. Um, and clarification is going to come at the moment that we need to say something, that we need to practice, or we need to share information. So, let's go ahead here. Okay, guys, quick question, quick question. ¿Cuál es, me pueden ayudar with a couple of ways, en vez de what, en vez de, can you repeat? ¿Qué otras expresiones puedo usar? What else can I use? Anybody? So instead of uh, say can? what, uh -huh, instead of what, instead of can you repeat, uh, say that again. ¿Qué otra forma puedo usarlas? ¿Qué otras expresiones significan lo mismo? Las acabamos de ver, guys. <ríe> ok. So, yeah. part of the... Yes. Pardon me. Pardon me, yes. Excuse me. Uh -huh. um, Could you say that again? I mean, I mean that... Uh -huh. um, um, could you say that again? Could you say that again? Exactly. We can use, um, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. I'm sorry, I missed that. I'm sorry, I didn't catch it, right? Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. So, pero igual, son un poquito fuerte. Uh, so I would change it. Like, I don't understand what you mean. Es un poco más suave. Now, uh, ¿cómo, lo puedo, ¿cómo me puedo yo e explicar de otra forma? Oh, acabamos de verlo en la conversación. In other words, uh, so, uh, what I mean is, what I'm trying to say is, what I wanted to say was to clarify. So, clarification is really important, guys. And vamos a practicarlo ahorita. We're going to practice this part a little bit. Uh, remember, intentamos no utilizar... Uh, can you repeat, please? 
So take a look at this one. Um, we have three different scenarios. Scenario number one, a teacher and student talking in the class, right? Like when you say, okay, guys, so we have exam tomorrow. And you're like, ah, but teacher, you say that the exam was not going to be tomorrow. Ah, no, I made them. So you can like use clarification just to make sure that you get the information properly. So one person can be a teacher and the other can be a student. A sick patient explaining their illness to the doctor. Imagine that you have, I don't know, a stiff neck, like torticulis or something or flu or a backache and you need to explain that. So you can ask for more information there. A transaction between a shopper and a cashier, right? Like how much is it? What is the size? Can I get a refund? So we can use a couple of expressions like, could you repeat that please? What do you mean? I meant to say. Guys, repitan conmigo. I meant to say. I meant, I meant to, to say. say. Mean es presente. Meant es pasado. So yo quiero decir, I mean to say. Yo quise decir, I meant to say, right? Mean and meant. Mm -hmm. I meant. Or simplemente podemos dejarlo como, I meant. Or en presente, I mean. <laughs> okay, so whatever works for you. There are some tres escenarios. There are three mm -hmm. scenarios. Okay, please, practiquemos los tres. Practice the three scenarios with your classmates. New vocabulary, siempre, guys, anótenlo por ahí. Eh, write down the new vocabulary that you get. Y luego lo revisamos. That is really important. Van a tener muchas nuevas palabras. Ustedes escogen la situación. And again, intentemos usar las palabras nuevas, recall, recognition. Try to put everything into the conversation para que vayamos usando las guys. Uh, vámonos, let's go. We have 15 minutes to practice the three scenarios. Let's do it.
Todavía no se arregla, man.
Okay, guys, uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So I heard that you were like practicing the three conversations. And uh, so let's go ahead and share a couple of them. Before guys getting started, uh, just a quick question. Encontrar palabras nuevas? Did you find new vocabulary? Did you find new things? ¿Hay algo que nos quieren compartir? Is there anything you would like to share with the rest? No new words, no encuentro palabras nuevas, like talking about an illness, a illness, transaction. for example, igne, okay. illness, um, only. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And the rest? Uh, I mean to say. Oh, decir? okay. Yes, the whole expression. So I mean to say. Okay, very nice. ¿Alguien más encuentro palabras nuevas, guys? ¿Algo que buscaron en el diccionario o anything? Uh, mm. Recuerdo esta palabra de Andre, so that was like ban, so ban or prohibit, right? So cuando hablamos de yes. prohibiciones, guys, we use the word ban. Oh, so it is ban, está prohibido, or it is prohibited, so uh, we can use prohibit. Forgotten. Ah, forgotten, very good. El pasado participé de forget, okay. Forgotten, está olvidado, it is forgotten. ¿Qué más? And I'm, I'm sorry, forbidden. I'm sorry for? Forbidden. Sorry for Peter. What do you mean? Like, siento estar ahí? Oh, uh... lo siento por no estar ahí. <laughs> I forbidden. forbidden. Oh, I lo come... siento, está prohibido, that one. Oh, forbidden. Okay. Prohibit, forbidden. Got it. Sorry. Uh, I was thinking about like, I don't know, something different, I guess. Mm -hmm. So forbidden. <laughs> yes, it is forbidden. No está permitido, right? Mm -hmm. Algo más, guys? Anything else that you found? Mm um okay guys so we're gonna listen to your conversations y veamos si acá podemos encontrar like new words vamos a hacerlo en orden so group number one christian kenya noemi and rafa yours is number one situation one says a, a teacher and a student right you are in the classroom a group number two a sick person helen imelda arnoldo angelica and judy guys so one person gotta be the doctor the other person gotta be the patient or the patients is all the family who are sick is it's scenario number three adolfo andre carlos and iris uh yours is a, tra a transaction you are you are at a store and this is going to be between a shopper and a cashier um, guys, uh, ustedes escogen or I choose. What do you prefer? <laughs> Volunteers in each group? I choose. I choose. Okay, perfect. Um, guys, díganme dos números del uno al cinco. Give me two numbers. Uno y cinco. One okay. and five. Okay, very good. So group number one. Eh, vamos con Christian. We'll be going with Christian and we'll be going with Rafa. Group number two. Eh, vamos con Helen. Helen pudo participar. Guys, eh, Helen les participó. Oh. Group two. No. No, miss, no. Creo que estaba trabajando. Ok. So vamos con Imelda and with Yuri. Yuri y su internet está mejor. Yes, teacher. Super, va, super, super. Me alegra, Miss. Ya, ya me alegra escucharla. <ríe> uh, group 3, vamos con Adolfo en Iris. Guys, Iris les pudo participar. Porque no recuerdo si Iris tenía something to do during the day. So, at the beginning, yes, but. Yeah, Iris yes. talked uh -huh. about the sick patients. Okay, but then you couldn't listen to her anymore. Okay, so let me see. ¿Quién más está en el grupo? Number eh, three for us. The situation number three, yes. So okay, creo que Dani tampoco. Right. 
So, yes, veamos si, si Iris está con nosotros y no vamos con Andre. So, Andre, we go for it. Okay, guys, group one. This is improvising a little bit, pero es parte de lo que acabamos de hacer, right? Part of the things you just did. Rafael, Kristen, are you ready? Mm, yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. Let's do it. Okay, hello guys, good evening. Uh, I give you a uh, homework uh, last, uh, last night. Uh, Somebody is in the, in the karaoke. Eh, eh, Cristian, apague la camarita un momento, se le está friseando. Turn it off, just turn it off a moment. There okay. you go. Okay. Can you listen to me now? Yes, much better. Okay. Uh, hello, uh, guys. Uh, I give you uh, last night a uh, homework. Uh, do you uh, do you? Como digo, lo hicieron. Did you, you do it? Did you complete it? Ah, uh, did you do it? Uh, okay, did you do it? I don't I recall. <laughs> I can't recall. Okay, uh, the homework was uh, make a make a conversation uh, with. Uh, 100 words or more uh, talking about um, a brand uh, do you know? Excuse me, Christian, could you repeat that please? I'm here, so. Okay, uh, the homework uh, is uh, was uh, uh, about make a conversation talking uh, about a brand. Did you I'm say sorry, I missed that? It's a conversation. Uh, only brand? Yes. Hello. Hello. Hello, can you listen to me? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, I think is it is all. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Thank you guys. Very good. And I think I also heard a uh, Noemi right there. Thank you. That sounds like a very good conversation. So that is just, uh, you know, it reminds me a lot about the homework assignment <laughs> about yesterday's activity. <laughs> okay, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, guys, group number two, a, a sick patient and a doctor. Here, I'm pretty sure that vamos a utilizar muchas expresiones to make sure the doctor got all the information. Eh, so... Um, Imelda, Judy, girls, están listas? Are you ready? Um, yes, I'm ready. Okay, perfect. Let's do it. Okay, I I will be the the patient. Mm -hmm. Um, um <laughs> we don't talk about the, this situation, so I uh, I am thinking oh, about. Oh, don't it. worry, don't worry. You can improvise it. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, hello, doctor. Um, I am here because I, I have a had Derek all weekend and I, uh, I have fever. So I, am uh, I feel very sick right now. What, what do you think could be? Judy, are you with us? Hi. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
<laughs> no, miss, I mean, try to follow the conversation y si se queda stuck, acá le ayudamos, no se preocupe. Ok. Hi. Um, uh, what do you problem? I, I have a hysteric all weekend and I have fever right now. Okay. I, eh, como le digo, eh, para medicarla. To um, medicate. Oh, okay. Eh, to medicate eh, the acetamino, acetaminophen. <laughs> Ah, okay. Acetaminophen. The name is okay. The name is fine. Depends of the situation, the situations, but uh, probably I make to make, sería to make mm -hmm. the exams. Okay. Yeah. Uh, On the lab. What what kind of exam do you recommend? Um, the, ¿cómo se le dice sacar sangre? <laughs> a blood, a blood, blood test. test. Blood a test. blood, a blood. Test. Blood a blood test. test. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, I, I, I will be at, I, I will do a, the test and I come back to, to get a, uh, a, uh, um the result yes mm -hmm. when when i have the results i come back to 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 second to, appointment uh, okay uh, to, to, to get prescription uh, to get let me receta. finish please let me finish please. I'm, I'm thinking <laughs> okay uh, no problem take your time hmm i i We'll back next uh, with with the result to get another opinion about the diagnostic, maybe. Okay. Okay. I I got it. Oh. That's it. Yes. Yes, that's it. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Okay. Sounds really nice, and I am sure that this was improvised. So, but you did it very nicely. So you made a very good job, you know, trying to explain the situation. Uh, and Judy, that was like very nice as well. So very good questions. So good job with that. Um, guys, vamos con el último. So a transaction between a shopper and a cashier. So uh, Iris, are you with us? I don't know if Iris is yeah, here. I'm here. Hello. Okay, perfect. So... Help us, please, uh, with Adolfo. Guys, uh, who is going to be the shopper and who is going to be the cashier? Okay, the uh, shopper. You're going to be the shopper. Okay. Uh, let me see the situation. Okay, it is um, the third. Mm -hmm. Okay, good evening, Adolfo. And... I want to buy a soda, but I only have a, a 50 bill. Can you receive me? Hey, Adolfo, are you with us? Hello. Can I help you? What kind of soda do you want? Yes, yes, I, I need one soda, but I have only a 15 bills. Uh, Can you 15 me? Bill. Okay, yes. I have no I have no change. You can you can read the the note on the wall. We can only accept a ten dollar bills. Sorry. No. No, Adolfo, help me. I need change for the bus. Ah, <laughs> uh, you you can you can get 
you can get you can get six sodas and you can you can buy for your family. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's, a good, it's a good and creative solution. Okay, Adolfo, I I, I give me six soda. What kind of soda do you want to buy? And Coca Cola. Coca Cola. But, yes. Okay, you got it. Sorry. Thank you, Adolfo. Okay, have a good night. Oh, okay, okay, very nice. That was actually very good. <laughs> Iris, good job. I missed <laughs> listening to your voice, but that was really cool. Adolfo, thank you so much. That was actually a very nice way to follow up the conversation. Okay, um, people, so tenemos pendiente, we have still like pending this part of the of the branding, right? La tarea que quedó um, el día de mañana. So I'm going to give you like, um, obviously not today, but that's going to be for tomorrow. Uh, para que podamos eh, leer un poquito, find some brands, eh, get familiar with that. Y la presentamos el día de mañana, right? So we can present okay. it tomorrow, guys. Um, give me just a moment, guys. Let's voy a tomar asistencia. I'm going to take your attendance today. Just bear with me a moment. Que mi cámara me está fallando here. I don't know what's going on. I guess it's just the internet, you know, or something. Um, guys, eh, nadie más tuvo dificultades con la plataforma, right? I have trouble because my, because I changed a PC laptop. Oh, okay. Well, but eh, la contraseña es exactamente la misma si usted no la ha cambiado. But si llega a tener bloqueo or something, me avisa, let me know para poder hacer, you know, eh, la solicitud, aunque en realidad tendría que esperar uh, 24 horas. So you will need to wait 24 hours in case, no recuerde la contra, but um, la contraseña I, genérica, so that was like I one, have, two, three, four, five. I have no change, yeah. Ah, okay, so it should be the same. You shouldn't have any issue with that. Guys, agradecerles a quienes ya terminaron, a quienes ya la completaron. Kudos, excellent job with that. So solamente quedamos then eh, pendientes con el resto de la semana. Guys, no se les olvide que terminamos el día lunes, right? So please don't miss classes y gracias por siempre acompañarnos, right? Deme un segundo, let me just um, load this. Okay, so I got, uh, regale mi confirmación, please, Adolfo. Presente. Gracias, Andrea. Present. Thank you. Carlos. Present, miss. Christian. I'm here. Thank you so much. Uh, Delmi. Delmi se estaba. Helen. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Imelda. Present. Thank you, Arnoldo. Kenya. Uh, Angelica. Present. Thank you, Noemi. I'm here. Rafa. Present. Uh, Judy. I'm here, teacher. Uh, Ceci. I mean, Margarita, Dios mío, le está cambiando el nombre a Margarita. Margarita, Present, por ahí. Thank you so much. And solo nos falta Daniel. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, guys. Uh, so, uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, please let me know si alguien tiene dificultades again con la plataforma para poder ayudarle con los accesos. And guys, agradecerles por la super asistencia de toda la semana. Estaba revisando acá y pues eh, tenemos una asistencia super super buena guys so gracias por ello thank you so much for that um delmi está por acá oh delmi mm. 
No, I think she's not there. Okay. Judy, me podría regalar un par de minutitos, please, by the end of the class. Okay, so, mm -hmm. guys, los demás estamos eh, dismissed. Please, guys, no se les olvide la tarea. Les voy a escribir por ahí tempranito para hacerles el recordatorio. <laughs> okay, para mm -hmm. que puedan leer unos cinco minutitos, súper rápido, right? And read a little bit about the brand. Nos va a dar más vocabulario y luego venimos y lo compartimos, all right? So, thanks, everybody. Have an amazing night. Perfect. And uh, see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Yes. Blessing. Night, night. Blessings. Segunditos here. Solo let me finish something here. Nice. Ok. So, gracias, Judy, por regalarme un par de minutitos. Es solamente para la parte de one on one que nos hacía falta también. And, uh, eh, well, primero quiero comenzar, Judy, agradeciendo por la muy buena asistencia que tiene. So, eh, creo que no me falla, you know, and, uh, y han sido casos extremos, extremos, donde no sí. la veo participando, pero súper buen trabajo, you know, siempre la veo, like, opinando, sí. intentando, and that's súper, súper nice. Um, con la conversación ahora, you know, muy buen trabajo siguiendo lo que estaba pasando, like, uh, coming up with equations, trying to keep on talking, so very good job. Y sí, siento que he perdido el miedo poquito a poquito, hola baby, <ríe> siento que he perdido el miedo poco a poco, right, y se empieza a soltar, así que um, Judy no vaya a quitarse eso, eh, siempre intente, you know, uh, si tiene una opinión o something, try to say it, pero me alegra mucho que este módulo sí la siento un poco más suelta, you know, que poquito a poquito va quitándose el miedo, ¿cómo se siente Miss? Gracias teacher por esas palabras, la verdad que Sí, me falta más como fluidez porque muchas cosas tal vez sí las sé, pero a veces expresarlas me falta. ¿Cómo ordenar la idea? Como ordenar la idea, cabal. Okay. Entonces, eso es que tengo que trabajar más en eso, ¿verdad? Y sí, las lluvias me han jugado parte, parte mal en lo que va de la asistencia para poder participar porque el internet se me queda ahí cargando y me estaca y cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces, sí. por eso han sido veces que no he podido participar en algunos tópicos. Pero ahí vamos. Yo sé, la verdad es que se nos sale totalmente de las manos, ¿no? Right? No es algo que podamos controlar, menos en la cuestión de clima. Pero lo importante es que, bueno, yo sí la escucho, you know, participando whenever you're here. ¿eh? Y eso es lo importante. Um, cuando me dice que siente que necesita trabajar más en la composición de lo que quiera decir, Siente que es por vocabulario porque no recuerda cómo hacer las palabras o no recuerda cómo ordenarlas, cómo expresarlas. Ajá, lo que me cuesta es cómo ordenarlas. Por ejemplo, uh -huh. el verbo si me lo puedo, pero a veces ya agregarle algo más al verbo cuando cambia totalmente, es ahí cuando mis ideas también ya empiezan a desvariarse un poco. Eh, por ejemplo, pasado. Pasado lo puedo usar bastante. Okay. Eh, tal vez este cuando unimos ¿Cuando explicaciones ajá pero tal vez por ejemplo un algo tan sencillo como turn off eh, clean uh, agregarle otro oh, me habla de phrasal verbs me habla de estas palabras que le cambiamos ajá como oh. cuando se le agrega o out uh -huh, o se le agrega okay. off oh, o sea, okay. Es, sí, van a requerir un poquito de práctica, but mm -hmm. si las pueden manejar. For example, imagine I tell you, um, what are some of the activities or what are some of the things you do to reduce the energy or to reduce the electricity bill? Mm. I don't know, teacher. De hecho, vamos exactamente con esas palabras que me acaba de decir. La que oh, encender, no, apagar, no. limpiar. Ajá, uh -huh. exacto. Turn off, um, turn off, uh, turn off the light. Ajá, exacto. So I turn okay. off the lights. Ajá. Um, take off. Uh -huh. No, yes. 
depende, porque take off puede ser quitarse como la ropa, quitarse algo de encima de los zapatos, pero mm -hmm. también puede ser como un avión. Switch avión, off. Un avión. Sí. Which one? Switch off. Switch off, very good, que es como un turn off. Mm -hmm. So switch off. Ajá, entonces esas cositas así, creo que las tengo que estudiar un poco más. De hecho, memorizarlas funciona bastante. Yeah, okay. we need to memorize them. So, for example, talking about turn on and turn off, ¿cuál otra se recuerda? Clean up. Clean, Clean up. up. Yes. Clean up. Um, okay. So, um, no, don't worry. The, hay muchas. There are um, a lot. But algunas sí son como más útiles o más eh, usadas que otras, right? Clean up, yes. Hang up, como colgar el teléfono. So I'm going okay. to hang up the call. I'm going to turn off the lights or I'm going to turn on the lights. I'm going to switch off. Pero switch off es como todo el poder, toda la electricidad, right? So, okay. yes. Okay, vamos a hacer una actividad, Yuri. We're going to do, we're going to work a little bit on an activity. Eh, la mayoría de, de chicos, you know, eh, hicimos actividades bastante diferentes. So, well, yo vamos a intentar algo diferente, eh, okay. Vamos a, ¿qué le funciona más? Escribir, leer o ver o hablar. What's easier for you? ¿Cómo se recuerda más de las cosas? Um, hablar. Hablándoles. Ok. Bye. Perfect. Entonces, vamos a hablar. We're going to talk a little bit. Mm -hmm. Ok. Normalmente las phrasal verbs tienen un uso específico. So, lo que vamos a hacer es record one minute audio with some Trouble shooting steps. Ok. Lo que vamos a hacer es esta parte. Trouble shooting steps se refiere a como cosas que hacemos con la computadora o con el teléfono, right? For example, cuando la computadora se le queda trabada, ¿qué es lo que hace? So what do you do if the computer is stuck or is frozen? Ay. Eh, turn off podemos ajá, exactly so, eh, los de IT cuando no llega, uno apaga o la voltea <laughs> so, um, that is what we're gonna try to record, right vamos a grabar, lo puede escribir primero revisa las palabras, so you check how, how to use them eh, for example, I can tell you the most common problem I have is with my computer my computer is super slow. Sometimes I need to turn off uh, the screen because the screen has a different color. And, uh, and some other times it is the, the mouse that it is not scrolling down. So okay. um, I like to have my office clean. So every day in the morning, I try to clean it up and um, I throw uh, away the garbage that is on my desk uh, to have a clean environment. So, in acabo de decir alrededor de cuatro o cinco phrasal verbs, right? So, tenemos, por ejemplo, throw away, que es tirar la basura. So, I, I throw away the garbage, right? So, tenemos clean up, que es limpiar algo. We have turn on or turn off, cualquiera de las dos, que es encender. Right, um, and we have, uy, mencioné más, pero ya se me olvidaron. Oh, uh, scroll down, scroll down, como cuando usted usa el mouse, right? Que le hace así y ya todo va hacia abajo, se so llama mm -hmm. scroll down, uh, turn off, etc. So la idea es que usted las utilice en el contexto um, más común. Recuerde que ellas ya están, ya sabemos qué significan. So throw away es tirar, clean up es limpiar, turn on es up, encender, scroll down es deslizar hacia abajo, and turn off es apagar. So okay. el significado ya está. 
necesitamos practicarlo para que nos aprendamos el uso de ellas, right? Y con la práctica va a ser más fácil. So, envíenmelo a WhatsApp. No es necesario que lo envíe al grupo, right? Envíenmelo privado. Eh, veamos si nos funciona this way. Eh, y también así tengo la oportunidad de escucharla, de escuchar su fluidez, su vocabulario. O si hay que hacer algún cambio eh, con vocabulario, lo hacemos también, right? So, okay. I got it. Um, creería que un minuto más que servida. <laughs> so that is going to work. Ajá, si le funciona this way, vamos probando, you know, otra semana en so far. Ok. So, eh, Yuri, gracias por regalarme minutos extra de su tiempo. Eh, espero el audio el día de mañana, right? Ya cuando esté libre o en el almuerzo, cuando tenga tiempito. And I hope to see you tomorrow as well. Que descanse mucho, okay. Miss. Have a good night. Ah, ok. Thank you, teacher. You're so welcome. Bye. See you later. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. See you.